happy Women's History Month. Today is March 14th. Um, I actually took a little break over the past couple of three days. Uh, went home to visit my family. Hadn't seen them since Christmas. So I hung out with some women who've made history in my life. My mom, my sister, and my niece. And hung out with my dad. Shout out to my dad, even though he's not a woman. But he's also historic because we're the friends. But anyway, back with some new books are the star. Today's star. And we're going to have two today. So this video might be a little long. Today's book is the star. is Billie Holiday's Lady Sing the Blues. Now, if you've seen the movie with Diana Ross, but never read the book, you are in for a treat. As the saying goes, never judge a book by its movie. Billie Holiday was a very complex woman. Um, just awe-inspiring. And it's so sad that, you know, drugs played such a role in her demise, like so many of our other stars. I'm not going to call any names since there are too many to name. But um, Billie Holiday's story is, as it says here on the back, fiercely honest, no holds barred. This autobiography, you know, takes the reader on a journey from her rough and tumble Baltimore childhood. You know, she worked in a whorehouse but had a chance to listen to Louis Armstrong, Bessie Smith, and, you know, then she went out on the Harlem club scene and, you know, just grew to these magnitudes and, um, you know, Strange Fruit by Billie Holiday. Sad that that song is still so poignant today. Um, I've always listened to her version and then listened to Nina Simone's version and they are both so gut-riching and, you know, they make you feel just all the feelings. So, today's book is the star. Billie Holiday's Lady Sings the Blues. Definitely pick this up, read this book, and learn more about this jazz great because, you know, there's more to her life than just her voice. Now, for our second book is the star because I missed a couple of days. A Taste of Power. A Black Woman's Story by Elaine Brown. Now, there's some controversy about, you know, who Elaine Brown was. And then, you know, if you saw the PBS special on the Black Panther, she was not happy with it. Read her book. Elaine Brown was actually the head of the Black Panther Party at one time. And for all of the sexism and everything that was talked about in the PBS special, we had a woman who led the Black Panther Party. This book I read initially in college. Um, this is a, a book that just explains so much about the Black Panther Party, the destruction of the Black Panther Party, and how this woman ran this party. So, Elaine Brown is our second star. You know, today is just kind of a non-fiction day because, you know, we all love fiction, but sometimes we need to go back. Um, learn about the history that we didn't learn in school. You know, we can do that through these nonfiction books written by African American women. And we can also do it by, you know, reading a Beverly, Je a Beverly Jenkins romance novel because she takes us into history as well. So, the second book is the star today is Elaine Brown's Taste of Power. Happy Women's History Month!